how to apply sheer cover makeup. Hi there, I'm Daniel Sander and I'm going to show you how to put on the most beautiful, sheerest, shimmery base that will make you look your most beautiful. All you need are these three things, a fabulous foundation brush, a light shimmery foundation and an under eye concealer that can be used on blemishes. But I must say if you have slightly, you know, blemishes that are a little bit too obvious, then you'll want to dry up matter formula. But anything under the eye, you just need a nice creamy concealer like this and I'll demonstrate how to use that the most perfectly. Applying the very light reflective foundation, two little squirts on the back of my hand and then starting in the central panel of the face over the entire area because of course the, the face has to look the same kind of finish all the way over. So sometimes you do want to put foundation in a few little areas like the central panel or the eyelids or a little bit on the forehead but when you want to look dewy and lovely you need to put it all the way over so your skin looks the same. I'm using very light touches as I apply this and I'm not using fingers and I'm not using a sponge. The brush really is the best way to apply any kind of foundation and really it's because you get a really really fine finish sponges and fingers sometimes leave a little bit of a heavy-handed finish whereas this gives you the fine sheer finish that you want each time certain areas of the face require less makeup and that's where I use longer strokes but on areas where I need a little bit more coverage say around the eye and nose area I use shorter strokes a little bit of concealer can be applied under the eye and in the darkest area this is called the orbit of the eye and you really want to find a concealer that complements your foundation shade perfectly. Use the concealer just where it needs to go around the nose, a little bit around the lip edge, always helps to enhance the natural lip shape and make the top lip look fuller. So all I'm doing is taking a little bit of concealer and applying it just above the lip line to enhance the natural shape. It will also help lock in lip color some people tend to find that when they use concealer it goes dry, it goes cake, it looks horrid. The reason that is, is because they're using a formula that's far too dry. That one is okay on blemishes, but under eye you want a concealer that really moves with the skin and almost acts like foundation. Having concealer that comes out the brush makes application really, really easy. It means you don't have to have a separate concealer brush. And what you'll notice as well is that concealer mirrors the same shade as the foundation, which is really important. If you don't match your concealer to your foundation, you'll end up with panda eyes where you get a very white area around the eye and that just looks really obvious and fake. So if you've got a little bit of yellow in your skin tone, find a foundation that has a little bit of yellow. Similarly, find a concealer that's got a little bit of yellow too. The primer, the foundation, the concealer are all silicon based. They all work perfectly together, which means your makeup will last ages and ages. There we go. That really is, I've taken about three or four minutes, but really you could do that in two minutes. All you need is the brush, the concealer, and the foundation, and you're good to go. Recap. Apply light reflecting foundation from the center out. Apply to the entire face for a level look all over. A brush gives a fine sheer finish. Long strokes for areas needing less cover. Short strokes for areas needing more cover. Concealer covers blemishes and enhances the natural lip shape. Match the tint of the concealer and foundation with the tint of your skin tone. Silicone-based products help makeup last longer. Done.